Hi, my name is Dan. I'm with the company called Triad RV Parts. I'm going to do a quick short video on a neat little product that uh, uh, is used quite a lot in the RV industry and is fairly prob problematic, uh, very simply because people improperly use it. Okay, I'm going to go over it. It's this stabilizing jack, and uh, it is used on a lot of real small campers, has been for years, and with all the new uh, teardrop, uh, homemade, and all these uh, little startup companies that are coming along, uh, it's being used more and more, so I thought it'd be nice to go over this, and if you ended up with one of these in your life, that you'd know how to use it. Um, so basically how it operates is, this is two little holes right here are mounted to the bottom of the frame and then you pull it down you pull it down and uh, it's it comes up out of the way and then you get to go down the road and then when you get ready to set break you know set up camp then you pull this down you push this up right there and then of course you push this lever right here and it allows this to come out uh, now on a real firm surface that's plenty of foot there if you're in a sandy surface you'd probably want a piece of put a piece of wood or something under it, a large piece of wood. Um, and uh, so basically uh, what happens is, is to make this thing operate, you get this, this bar and uh, you stick it in and you make sure it comes all the way out the back. Okay. Now that's the proper way to use it. Uh, and then when you get ready to push down, you push and then if uh, if it's not tight enough then you go back in for another bite and you come down okay now what happens is and uh, this is where the problem starts is that people will operate this thing uh, from right here and not let that shaft come all the way through and what happens is it bends this face right here and then uh, eventually it gets to where this thing doesn't work at all and it doesn't take too many times to do that uh, and then you're sorry you ever saw this thing. So uh, anyway, um, if, if yours is all bent up and it slides up and down there and someone's kind of tweaked and tried to repair it and you're happy with it, it's all fine and good. Uh, but if it's hard to get it in and out of there because it's bent up here on the face, it, you're just better off replacing this thing for sure. Okay. Um, but anyway, that uh, coming all the way in through the back, like so is the proper way to use that thing and uh, it'll last a good long long time and of course when you get ready to break camp uh, and you uh, need to get this uh, back up in there all you have to do is press this down uh, of course that caused it to slide that time because gravity had a hold of it but uh, you press it that way um, and essentially you just kick that with your foot you know and that makes it loose and then of course then you can uh, grab it with your hand and push it all the west of the way in with this being down like so and uh, then of course flip it up back out of the way over a period of time if it gets a little rusty you can spray some uh, white silicon grease there or uh, lithium grease or uh, some type of WD-40 or something one of your favorite lubricants uh, and uh, she'll continue to work really well for a good long while so I just wanted to share that this has been a very problematic uh, part for a lot of people because they just didn't know how to use it no one went over it with them so anyway I hope this helps and uh, anyway once again this is Dan with trvparts.com thank you